Hello, this is Tom Cloud with this week's Precious Metals Market Update. I don't have a lot to say, but I want to get right to the point of what I do have to say. And number one is, I mentioned in, uh, Jerry has been keeping you, the listener, updated on the cryptocurrencies. From my standpoint, I'm not here to talk about what's good or what's bad or what's iffy about cryptocurrencies. What I'm here is to tell you the effect cryptocurrencies backed by gold and silver will have in the next 12 months. We know of Bullion Coin Exchange that Andrew McGuire is affiliated with, the guy that they call the whistleblower that basically testified against J.P. Morgan and other companies that were shorting the silver market. And of course that has been, is going to court unless there's a settlement for major bucks. So what I can tell you today is I know that Bullion Coin Exchange is very close to going and there will be tons and tons of gold purchased and that could be as early as this week. It could be as late as two or three months or what people are telling me. But the point is the, the way cryptocurrencies backed by gold and silver being used as real currency, not a speculative investment like the ones you see now where you can buy Bitcoin or OneCoin or any of these out there and speculate on how they're going to be accepted. The limited numbers of them will go up and down, big crashes, big ups. But that's not what I'm concerned about. It's concerned about the cryptocurrencies backed by gold and silver and Will you, the investor, be willing to leave your money in an FDIC insured account when the FDIC has so little assets to insure what they have insured? So why wouldn't you put your money into a currency that's backed by gold and silver where there is no risk to you? You can't lose your currency. The bank can't bail in your money. That's going to be the biggest change in the next 18 months that's ever been in the financial world. And I'm following, have been to one meeting in New York about this, and a year from now, the world won't even look like it looks today economically because people will move their money out of checking accounts, and then you got to ask yourself, what will that do to banks? What will that do to bank stocks? Do you want to short them? Do you want to go long? Will banks join the crypto movement? Will banks put out cryptocurrencies? There's a lot of ifs and a lot of unknown, but what we do know is the world will not look the same a year from today as it does right now, and certainly there are going to be megabucks, billions of dollars moving out of fiat currencies and moving into cryptocurrencies that are backed by gold and silver. The one thing I can tell you for sure is it will have a drastic effect on the physical gold and silver market. If you're holding gold and silver, you're almost guaranteed a much higher price than it is today. How much? Anybody can speculate. But what I'm telling you is you need to start moving because you can buy the physical gold and silver today that you may not be able to buy in 12 months. Just look what's going on right now in Singapore where we're paying 20 to 30 cents more per ounce for silver than we can buy it here right now for our clients. And for the ones of you who never discussed it with me or Dan or Kathleen, we have the lowest storage rates that we've seen in the world at, at the depositories that I've made these agreements with. So if you don't want to take delivery of the gold and silver, call us about our unheard of low rates plus six months free rent in two of them, the one in Canada and the one in Delaware. So give us a call if you want to discuss that. But uh, let me just tell you, you need to be looking at it now and not a year from now. And just think about the bail-ins that will come if money leaves 
<laughs> the banking system very quickly, you're going to have a panic and the money moving out. And then comes the real problem. That is the U.S. Treasury market. What happens when China, Japan, and large institutions start selling U.S. Treasuries? And my last point is the U.S. dollar is plummeting. It's gone down more under Trump than any president in six months. It's down 7% as I say this. Gold should be up about 50%, and it's up 10 or 11% for this calendar year. But what will happen is it will catch up, and it will catch up abruptly. And if there's anybody out there, the, the, Trump's already raised the debt ceiling more than in one year than Obama ever did. So you're hearing this stuff, and yet people are thinking, happy days are here again. Trump's health care package has not been gotten through. And he hasn't got tax cuts yet, corporately and individually. And the battle is out there. So what I can tell you is you need to be buying because historically the biggest move in the metals are in the fall. And I think that will start in the next two weeks and we'll see a much higher price in gold and silver by the end of the year. So if you need to talk to us about that or a self-directed precious metals IRA, you can give us a call at 800-247-2812. That's 800-247-2812. With this week's precious metals market update, this is Tom Cloud signing out.